Hi everybody, this is Home Theater Man, back with another video. Today I want to talk to you guys about is about um auto much is auto motion plus setting. And um I want, I want to do before I start that I want to do a quick demo for you guys of this movie gladiator I'm watching. Um let's start it, okay. Okay guys, that was a quick demo for you guys. Um, we'll show you guys about is my all my TV settings here is settings here. Go to push settings. Go to some. Um, basically, um, you guys notice I got auto motion plus setting turned to auto, and the reason why that is is because um, I like I I. I, I like the 40 frames, frames, I'm sorry, I like the 40, 48, let's put this, let me say this again, I like the 48 frames per second, Automo the interpolation stuff. I'm um, here's the thing guys, when you watch on a flagship model TV like a K90 or TV I have, um, a lot of people say if you, if you turn on the auto motion plus setting, you will get what's called ghosting. I have absolutely, I have absolutely no ghosting on my Q90 or TV when watching movies in uh, auto motion plus setting turned on auto. I just don't get that on my TV. Like, I got some some TVs like Sony, maybe LG, some maybe some lower Samsung models at Q80 and down. We get uh, ghosting. Behind the characters of of this when watching a movie and when it's in auto motion plus set, t setting turn on on, but I get I get no ghosting at all. I mean it's beautiful. Um now um. That's one thing I want to talk to you guys about is if you have a flagship model TV, I feel like you won't get any ghosting with the auto motion plus setting turned on. If you have anything lower than if you have anything lower than a flagship model TV, you will see some ghosting. I guess. The lower quality TV you go, the more ghosting you see when you turn on the auto motion plus setting. That's just my opinion, guys. Um, this is, this is um on my Samsung K90 TV. If you guys are wondering, um, just want to show you guys a quick demo. But even with even with the auto motion plus setting, even with the auto motion plus setting turned on, I still think that when the bumps it when the, you turn it on, I'm like bumps it up the the push quality up, the push quality. But my, I'm, I'm sorry, it automatically turns the frames per second up to forty frames per second, which I like. Um, so when you are putting the instead of it being like twenty four frames per second, it's gonna bump it up to forty eight, which is a bit higher. When you have auto motion plus setting turned on, so um. Again, this is what I want to talk to you guys about. I'm um, like now, like the movie Avatar: Way of Water. That's already gonna be filmed in 48 frames per second. So therefore, I will not need to turn. I can leave that my. Therefore, I can leave my auto motion plus setting turned off. Cause I don't want it to be on. I think it would just ruin the movie if you turn on, but have turn on that I, the movie being already in 48 frames per second. That's what I'm hearing. Is that when the movie releases in 4K HDR, it will be released in 48 frames per second 
instead of 24. And I thought that what I hear that is also what they were doing with the movie The Abyss and also with the movie Avatar, the original one. Um, so I've said so again, the original Avatar is gonna be in 40, 48 frames per second, again, 48 frames per second, and uh, Abyss is gonna be also in 48 frames per second. So that's why I'm, that's why I read online, guys. Uh, this is my research. That's what that's what um, Willie Scott is putting. Not Willie Scott, I'm sorry, James Cameron. I thought James Cameron is putting those two movies, those three movies, in remastering them in those two remastered movies, uh, Bess and the Avatar. They're gonna be in 48, 48 frames per second. So therefore, you can leave you can leave the auto motion plus setting turned off. I noticed when watching movies, the movie definitely does look smooth. It definitely smooths out the movie when you're watching and this when you have the auto motion plus setting turned on. Again, when you have the auto motion plus setting turned on, it definitely smooths out the picture quality on the movie. I feel like when fast sequences. Now, um, I could do a demo quick, just for he he heck of it, of the same scene. And see if you guys notice the difference when it's turned off. Okay, guys. Hey, I'm gonna turn the auto motion plus setting turn off. I'm going turn it off. Show you guys the picture settings. See if it looks. Which one do you think looks smoother, guys? Um, picture quality. So I'm gonna turn auto motion plus setting off. This auto motion plus is gonna turn off. And that is, to me, it's creator's intent it was when it's turned off. That's what Shakespeare's creator's intent when it's turned off. But again, I like it when it's, um, in 40, 48 frames per second. Let's start it now, guys. I know it's a little bit juddery, guys. A little bit juddery, but not too much. I see juddering already. Okay, guys, I was in um with the auto motion plus turn turned off. So I'm just turn it on, turn it back on to show you guys the difference. See if you, see if you guys notice anything. Okay, then turn on, turn it back on. See if you guys notice the difference. This is with the auto motion setting auto. This is with the auto motion plus setting turned on, guys. Okay, this is this is with the auto motion plus setting turned on. Here we go. So you guys see if you guys see a difference here. And smoothness, try to smooth this. See how smooth it is, guys. See if you guys don't see any difference. Again, I was with the auto motion plus setting turned on. I'll show you guys that in just a second how it is turned on. So you guys see this difference. I definitely say it looks smoother with it turned on. It's not a much plus turn turn. The push quality looks smoother when watching movies. Yes, you, they say it's for just the um, it's just be for TV sports and stuff and smoothing it out. 
Again, it can be a fun movie. To me, it can be fun. I think it makes a difference when the movie's turned on. Because, it, again, it's bumping, the, it's bumping the frames up to 48, 48 frames per second. That's much higher. Yeah, so it's on auto motion plus and turn on auto. So, again, um, it is on, guys. So, um, and I definitely saw a difference when, when playing this movie. The fast sequences, fast sequences. Just looks so much smoother when watching this movie, guys. Again, the fast squeeze sequences when the action part comes, it comes. I see a big difference in smoothness. Uh, I would like to know you guys' thoughts on this video. Uh, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down below what your thoughts are. I'd love to know you guys' thoughts on this. Um, please smash that like button before you head on out. And if I don't see talk to you guys, have a Merry Christmas. Have a good day, guys. Take care. Home theater man, over and out.